so this is your last call this is the video where we look at 801 zer and eververse just to see what is leaving for the week so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe other than that we are going to be looking at the genotype null zero which is the shader from the escalation protocol activity i definitely like this shader ignore this terrible looking armor i was doing armor sets for the uh halloween stuff but yeah i definitely like this shader um has a really cool like a uh, carbon fiber texture to it and the orange is really cool as well we have flowers of io worn specifically worn this one has never been sold so you definitely should get it if you have flyers of io then you can skip this one because it doesn't change it that much but i still got it because you might never know and then dead orbits fate which is a really really good shader i definitely would recommend this one because it is a good black and white and for the armor set it's gonna be these right here i'm gonna go check the the titans and warlocks because i don't remember which specifically they got i have a general idea of which one they got but i'll have the armor up right now or it should have had the armor up so let me see real quick for the hunters it's gonna be the second one okay so it's gonna be that one and then for the warlock okay that's what i thought so for the hunters i think the helmet is pretty cool the arms are unique the chest piece is definitely the best piece from the whole set boots are kind of whack and the cloak is kind of whack for the titans the helmet is whack every honestly all of it is pretty whack except the boots the boots are pretty cool because that's the boots that i use for a mongolian look um that being said any orange that you see or red orange that you see does not change color so just be aware of that which is why i say the armor set is not that great and then for the warlocks i like the helmet and the chest piece i think both of those are really cool other than that everything else is just kind of bland as for Zer, he's in the Winding Cove in the EDZ, currently selling the Mars Planetary Armor. I definitely like this armor a lot, more so for the Titans. I think Titans have some cool pieces to it. Um, but for the Hunters, it's going to be the helmets pretty cool. The arms are disappointing to me. Chest piece is the best piece as well. The cloak is unique and the boots are like whatever's to me. Titans, I think the arms, chest, boots, and even the helmet to a certain extent are really really cool i'm not the biggest fan of the mark personally let me do this real quick because i don't remember the, the warlocks off the top of my head but it's not that yeah that's what i thought it was so for the warlocks the helmet is pretty cool the arms are very very boring the chest piece is probably the best piece i like the boots as well and the bond is very boring let me just see the titans real quick just so yeah i think the helmet is pretty cool although the plate on the front does not change color so that's really unfortunate and any yellow that you see does not change color so there is like one in the front of the chest piece sides of the arms and the boots so it is annoying but it's i still think it's one of the best pieces for the titans as for the weapons we're going to be looking at true prophecy with grave robber and demo which is really cool uh we have disparity with fugalist and swashbuckler we have no reprieve with stats for all and wellspring far future with moving target and multi-kill clips soul survivor with lead from gold and volt shot we have lead from gold and vault shot which is pretty cool we have uh, behringer's memory with threat detector and demo and then corsair's wrath with firmly, firmly planted and quick draw as for the exotics it's going to be opening shot which is interesting for hawk moon and then arbalist which you definitely should pick up uh the bombardiers for the hunters with some pretty decent rolls helmet in 14 too high mobility and i have another world with naturally recovery and discipline at 24 and 25 respectively which is pretty nice if the mobility was on resilience i think this would have been such a dub but i still think you should pick these up if you don't have them and for eververse we're gonna skip the exotic because i currently have to go somewhere so excuse me if uh this is a little faster than usual but for the shaders blood main i like this shader you definitely should pick it up pretty good red silver gold and gold that looks gold to me silver gold and red which is really cool we have Skelegal, which I definitely think you guys should pick up because it is a really good black. I mean, it's more like a brown black, but it's still really good. We have Batwing Entrance. And the Hexing Shell for the Ghosts. And then a Tombstone, which I definitely want to pick up, but not for 3000 Bright Dust. That's like wild to me. And then we have Worm Perilous for the Parasite which I think you just huck a, an egg, like a dragon egg, which is really funny. Uh, Mad Machinery, which I'm pretty sure this is like fr fucking Frankenstein, but whatever. We have Mance Macabre, 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 whatever. It, look, it looks cool. We have Jackal Shell, which I don't really care for, but you can turn the glow off with certain shaders. Um, Accursed Sun, which is vampire themed. 
and then Buster Ray, which is a Ghostbusters themed. And it's funny because it's literally just a small um, Vex uh, Mythoclast. For the Shade, or I guess we should do these Shattered Shrieker for the Transmac effect. Only the Finest for the other one. Blooming Moon, which is like the werewolf one. And then for the Shaders, cleaning, Clinging Cobweb, which is the Shader that comes with the Spider Armor for the Titans and Hunters, not the Warlocks, but definitely a cool Shader. The Melchizedek Bramble. I'm just going with Bramble. Um, not the biggest fan of the shader just because of that purple right there. And then Skullagall, which we already looked at. And then Shadow Strike, which is the other Halloween one. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. I am currently working on the individual pieces for this armor and for this armor as well because I got both of them. And the reviews are already up and the shader videos as well. So if you guys wanna check out how the armor looks or what they shader with, definitely go with it. Uh, go check those videos out because hopefully I'll have it up right now. If not, they should be the first videos right now because again, that's the current stuff that I have on. So again, I'm working on the Hunter Titan and Warlock videos for this one and for this one as well. And then after that, we're probably gonna do some spooky themed um, armor sets. And then after that, I, uh, we have we have a bunch of content coming out, hopefully this week. Um, a lot of Halloween stuff and some other stuff in the background as well. And I also have my second channel, which I am posting. Thankfully, um, I've been posting it for 19 days straight. I haven't missed a day and I don't plan to miss any days. So if you guys want to check out some non-Destiny 2 content um, like Remnant 2, uh, Armored Core 6 and starfield definitely check my second channel i'll have it i always have it in the description so that way you guys can check it out but i appreciate you guys be safe i will see you guys later